Va, que 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 va. Welcome. Um, could you please uh, tell me your name? <laughs> I'm Jurian van Rijswijk, uh, chairman of the Games for Health Europe Foundation. Yeah, and you're the big organizer of this the event. The organizer. I'm yeah. a little, little, small guy, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, why is this event taking place? Uh, because I think um, games, applied games, can contribute making healthcare more fun, affordable, and uh, more effective. And that's the reason why you bring all these people together. Yes, because there's proof enough that games work, um, but in my opinion, uh, not enough people uh, know about it. So that's the reason I would like to make some noise uh, and uh, spread the word, basically. Yeah. So tell me the, about the numbers. How many people are here? There are uh, more than 500 people registers, registered for the conference and today we expect uh, around 400 people. And, and from how many countries over the world? Uh, 25 countries really? around the world, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Games for Health seem to be a, 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 lot, a big thing in the investment world. Uh, there, there seems to be a lot of money coming from investors uh, towards Games for Health. Is that a good thing? Yes, it's a good thing, um, and it's not. Um, it's a lot of money, but not a lot of investors. Um, so, a couple of investors do <laughs> believe in it, mm -hmm. and that's good news. Uh, but I think if the institutionals and the banks start to believe it and start to invest in it, then we really will have something in motion. Mm -hmm. So, at, at this moment in time, you think it's not enough already? Well, it's it's just the. Um, It's, it's a very good start, so I'm very proud of the fact that um, we've interested um, a couple of investors um, to, to start using and start investing in applied games and that they believe that it works in health and that they see a business opportunity for it. Mm -hmm. um, but we all know that it will take time um, until the institutionals and um, banks will start investing in it. So, so how will these institutionals and banks be uh, well, convinced? How, how, wh wh when well, it's, um, they do not invest in what they do not know. Um, for example, you probably don't know, and a lot of people <laughs> don't know it, uh, that um, Amsterdam, for example, is the uh, world's uh, central place for the coffee industry. And that's partly because our distribution network, but it's also because banks understand the, the value chain of coffee and that they're willing to take some risk and invest or uh, finance uh, projects in, for coffee. Um, that's not the case with applied games because they simply do not understand what they are, what the risk is of um, financing. So they, would, they are now saying we don't um, lend you the money mm -hmm. because we simply do not understand this industry. Yeah. So therefore I think it's very important that also companies like KPMG um, make some noise and explain why this is a promising industry. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's the thing you, you do these days here as well. You, you try to convince people or well, try to... Well, people are here. Um, I, already I don't understand. Think, yes, yeah, yeah, I don't think yeah, the critic yeah. asks, So this is yeah. basically the annual party <laughs> of people uh, spreading the world uh, 363 day, uh, days a year. Yeah. And the, the two days we come together and exchange the ideas uh, and the experience we have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another big thing in, in, in applied games is, is validation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, How are games doing? Well, you say it's a big thing. I don't think it's a big thing. No? No, um, because 70% uh, of all therapies, um, healthcare insurance companies now uh, cover, are not validated. Mm -hmm. So 70% of everything we do in healthcare is non-validated. So why should applied games be validated 100%? And it's Boom. a mechanical uh, <laughs> It's a mechanical uh, thing, uh, <laughs> things sometimes uh, <laughs> break. <laughs> no, it's, it's, 
it's it's a clinical approach or a mechanical approach in saying we should validate uh, all these games. I think, and that's the 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 last keynote we have this conference is about patient validation. The most successful medicine in the history of, of mankind is the placebo. I'm not saying that we should introduce placebos, mm -hmm. but we have an entire pharmaceutical industry, billions of dollars, where we know that more of half of it is um, thanks to the placebo effect, not because the medicines work. So, but if, it's in, if it works in the mind of people, then it works also. So I think we should also introduce patient validation instead of the clinical validation. Mm -hmm. But but with medicine, it, well, they're called medicines. That that that, that sounds really serious already. And and games yeah. sound like fun. Like fun. It's good. It's good. <laughs> yes, I th and um, uh, we play games since we walk right up. We do we do two things: uh, telling stories. We're here, and playing games. So and we forgot the last 50 years to play games and um, we now think it's a new thing but it's something we do um, since history. Mm. Are there any other important uh, trends going on in, in, in uh, Games for Health uh, besides uh, money and well maybe? Well a very important aspect of this conference um, is that we get uh, accepted for accreditation. So uh, for every clinician uh, for every surgeon, for every doctor. Uh, they are obligated, if they want to keep their status of being a doctor, um, they should have education during the year. And therefore, every conference and every training, they are able to collect points, so they, pro they gamified the, um, the learning uh, by earning points for each conference. And this is, for the first time, uh, this conference is accepted and accredited as a medical conference. Okay. So, and that's a whole new perspective. Another trend is, um, and I think that's also an interesting thing, is that um, game developers should start, and they are starting thinking of uh, developing therapies instead of games. So it's only in words, because they, they still make games, good games, mm -hmm. but it's something between years Imagine that you're developing a therapy instead of a game. Your approach toward what you're going to do is totally different than the approach if you start developing a game. And that's what they, what I sense now. That they start doing this. That they start developing. They say, I'm developing a therapy. And, and they use a game to... Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they also um, learned uh, how to approach healthcare from a games developer's perspective. Uh -huh. And I think it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, when, when will you be happy when this, when this is finished? Well, I'm always happy <laughs> just <laughs> before the conference because then my, uh, my work is done. Uh -huh. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this very much. Yeah. Um, so you don't have any, any great goals uh, except for, well, you, you are p pleased that everyone comes here yes. and come together. Well, I'm always afraid that something happened with the wind and the weather, uh -huh. and which did, of course, <laughs> uh, so that no one, no one will show up. No, I'm, uh, and I have a lot of meetings, um, and this is for me an opportunity to talk to a lot of people um, and really uh, sense that um, for the, the third conference you organized, um, is the dif difficult, most difficult one. Mm -hmm. So after this conference, it's a smooth ride. <laughs> no, I've, I've heard that the third was the hardest. So Why? I don't know, because I, I can imagine that the first is uh, everybody's happy, happy and yeah. enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The second is more criticism. And the third, if you can go through the... Uh, if it's a hype, um, after the third, there's no hype anymore. So there's a trend. Yeah. So now I'm glad that we came through the through the hype cycle. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.